Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story, where I share with you the two things that I love, teaching and crochet. Today I wanted to hop on and show you what I was able to acquire at Joann's yesterday. Now, I know that there have been lots of reviews and lots of folks showing the new K Caron Halo Ogo. Um, the thing that I liked about it was uh, when Crystal from Bag O'Day did her review was the beautiful shading that Caron was able to accomplish without there being those definite breaks that we find in a lot of ombre skeins or cakes. So I was really excited to be able to go into town yesterday and visit Joann's and see it for myself and to feel it too. Now, one of the colors that I was able to get is this beautiful blue. Look at that. And there it is, the Caron Colorama Halo. Now this color is, oh, I have it upside down. It's called Blue Storm Frost. Look at that. Now, I really do like yarns that have just a little bit, bit of a halo to them, and I don't find this halo to be bad at all. It is really, really soft here on um, its donut shape, but it's not as soft as the latte cakes, as many have said. Now, I do think that it is softer than Joanne's Big Twist. And if you are a huge fan of the Big Twist, that kind of gives you an idea how nice and soft this is. So, I was able to purchase four of these because each one has, where is it, 481 yards in it. Now, my idea for this one is for a Christmas present for one of my girls. I'm not going to say which one, although if they watch this, they'll know who it is. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, I, I always like to overbuy. I mean, because there's lots of things you can do with just little bits and pieces of, of yarn. So, I, I'm always an overbuyer. Because I never know, number one, when I'm going to be able to get back into town and get more yarn. Or if it's even going to be there. So, um, like I said, I bought four of the blue ice frost and another color I was able to purchase sorry went down the never ending black hole of yarn here was this beautiful beautiful vanilla ice now again this one here has 427 yards and I also bought four of these so, um, like I said, these are going to be Christmas presents for someone in my family. And as I said, if they're watching, they'll probably be able to figure out who it's going to. However, I might surprise them. We'll see. Anyway, like I said, um, I only bought these two colors. They did have a beautiful green, which if I was going to buy it, it would only be for me. And I don't have the time to do anything for myself right now. Um, there was a, another one that started out with this shade of brown and then went darker. And on the website, I thought, oh, I've got to get that one for me because I love the autumn colors and browns are one of my shades that I really do love. But when I got there, it was like, eh, just wasn't feeling it. You know, sometimes when you see something in the catalog or you see it online, and you think, and then when you get it, it was, it's like, why did I get this? So I, I turned that one down. There were some beautiful purples, um, as I said, the green, and then these two shades of brown, the blue, I'm trying to remember what else they had. Oh, they had a beautiful, um, I would call it like a newspaper print shading, you know, where it starts black or charcoal and shades into a, a dirty white. It's really, really pretty, but as I said, my mission was to get enough yarn to make these two uh, Christmas presents. I also picked up 
ombre has the uh, excuse me Mandela ombre has always been one of my most favorite uh, shaded yarns now I know a lot of people like the red heart ombre and that's all right but I'm just a Mandela fan because I love its softness so um, I did pick up enough of this to make a beautiful shawl for uh, my husband's mother um, for Christmas her birthday has already come and passed, and we normally get her flowers for that, but she's in a nursing home now, and I wanted to give her something that she could, you know, snuggle up with when she's sitting in her chair or out in the commons visiting with her friends. So, that is my little yarn haul from yesterday. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I picked up and my opinion of it. I will keep you posted as to what I'm making. I I think you know I don't want to give it away hmm well we'll see but if nothing else I can at least get up and show you pieces of what I'm doing with them and how I think that it works up in the design that I choose and just my opinion okay well I thank you so much for popping in and sharing your time with me today, especially those of you that are new to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed the little bit of content that I was able to share with you today. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell so that every time I upload something, you will get a notification and you'll be able to see what I'm sharing. For those of you that have been with me all this time, Thank you so much. You have no idea what a blessing you have been to me and the encouragement that you give me every time you see a video. So, until next time, be safe, be kind, and remember, be the light to someone out there in the darkness today because you never know, it might be your light that they need to see. Love you all. Bye.